Hello again, this is Todd Lusheen. I'm your Regional Vice President for uh, ASSP. And I just want to give you a quick update because yesterday was the um, town hall. And I'm going to give you a summary of what we'd heard about the changes that are being proposed for redesigning the governance, um, specifically for the House of Delegates for ASSP. I also want to provide some information about registering for our own regional town hall. Um, and also the regional caucus in which we will discuss and find out what we want to vote um, at the end of September and I'll discuss that as well. I also want to remind you about the upcoming Safe and Sound Week. There's still some time to sign up and to plan things and finally uh, to remind you about the annual report which is due August 15th. I'll provide you know, down in the link or, or down below this uh, the the link I have up here about the uh, ASSP governance. Um, you know, they, they went over a lot of this in, um, in the meeting yesterday. Uh, one thing that I want to do, there's a big FAQ section below this, but uh, down here in the uh, enclosed in the red box, I've got the names of the members of the task force that I believe they reviewed nine or ten different scenarios that were given to them by the board of directors. And this is the one they're recommending. Um, so you can see all, the, all those names. That was one of the questions that came up is, who was on the task force and well, how did you select them? The, it was at the pleasure of the board of directors that they selected that group. Uh, these are all very active volunteers and yeah, they, they put in the time and effort. But now it's time for us to hear what their suggestion is, discuss it, debate it, and it will be voted upon. So the objectives were, one, to modernize the nonprofit professional org structure, uh, and I'll get to that in a moment, to increase the member voice to the executive board, which has been a, a concern uh, or a comment um, from our members, and finally, to make sure that we that uh, we keep with our fiduciary commitments and to make it a value, value to our members. So currently, the board of directors proposes changes. This can be the, the sale of things, this can be the acquisition of things, this can be changes in policy, um, changes in structure like this. And then the House of Delegates, they caucus, they discuss it, they're, meant, they're supposed to discuss it with their membership and then bring their membership's concerns forward and vote in their interest. And then if it's accepted, then it goes to a member vote. So you, you'll get an email that says, hey, please vote you know, by this date, here's a reminder, here's a reminder. Um, so that's what current, that's what we think currently happen when um, the board suggests the change of things. The justification that we heard on the call was that uh, annually, the House of Delegates, or before last year, would meet the day before the annual uh, professional development conference. That costs ASSP about $78,000. Um, that doesn't include the costs of hotel and travel for the delegates that represent the chapters. The um, Last year, the House of Delegates uh, virtual meetings and voting costs about eighteen five. Attendance tracking shows that about 30% of the delegates that go to this meeting are proxy. So the people who actually were either voted or um, assigned to this role didn't go. And um, aside from the year in which we had the vote on the name change and rebranding, the House of Delegates votes tends to be just a, a yes. You know, they agree, they agree with what's being proposed. That was the only year which things were contentious. It was a fun year. Historically, voting participation is somewhat low for our, for our membership, under 10%. Uh, chapters regularly complain about lack of volunteers. Anybody who's a, a chapter officer likely has gone through that. Um, you know, uh, elections uh, run unopposed, and then less percent. And then they found out that less than five percent of all current nonprofit organizations actually don't have a delegate or a house of delegates. So it was it's it's an older design for um, a nonprofit structure. So the a summary of what they had talked about is what they want to do, what they're proposing, we got to talk about, debate, and vote on is they want to dissolve the chapter delegate position and uh, do away with the House of Delegates meeting. Uh, this will create, they'll create an oversight committee that is members selected from by the board of directors, but then create a, a no limit, a no cap at large member advisory group. So each chapter, the people who were you know, want to be delegates could be on this advisory group. You just have to go to the volunteer connection um, and, and sign up. 
And um, so it'll be a much bigger group who will re meet regularly throughout the year so they can bring their concerns forward and then those individuals can report it back to the chapter and can be put into the minutes and they can discuss things. Um, so they will speak, they will make their suggestions directly to the board of directors and then the membership will vote on those changes. So it, in a way, this would be the new structure, but it's not perfect. So when are we going to talk about this stuff? If you missed yesterday's meeting, please try to join us on August 11th. Down in the down below, I'll put this uh, Zoom information along with the delegate caucus. So if you were elected or assigned a delegate for your chapter, try to make this meeting on the 18th. If you cannot, you have to find a proxy. And that's where we're going to discuss it. And hopefully between then and the vote at the end of September, which is September 28th from 12 to 3 o'clock central, that's when the vote is going to occur. And so we can discuss it amongst ourselves to find out how we want our delegates to vote. Quick reminder, Safe and Sound is next week if you haven't signed up. last When I made this video last week, I believe, there was only about 600 some participants. Now there's over 1,000. Um, you guys are doing great. So please, there's still time to sign up. Um, and finally, remember that August 15th, that's just next week, um, your, your annual planning report is due. So like I said before, if you're having any virtual meetings, um, I'd like to be invited because I want to come in. Maybe I can answer some questions, but it'd be great if you could join us on the 8th. No, I'm sorry, the 11th. Uh, definitely look forward to meeting and discussing discussing with many of you on the 18th. And then at the end of the month, uh, I will start uh, discussing the, um, uh, the the HOD meeting that's at the end of September, the um, hybrid uh, professional development conference, and where our planning is for the uh, regional operations committee meeting, which is going to be in Kansas City in early October. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me. Uh, again, reach out if you have any questions.